Welcome back to The Grind and welcome to another Act 7 Chapter 2 quest guide. This is going to be quest number 5. Now, there are a few paths that are doable depending on your roster. The one that I chose for completion that I think is pretty easy if you have some good villain champions is this one over here starting with Nebula. So basically how it works is if you knock the opponent down with a heavy attack after a buff expires, you will get a falter on you for five seconds. And if you allow the opponent to attack into you and miss, then you will get a prowess buff. And villains have those prowesses as indefinite buffs for the remainder of the fight. If they are not a villain champion, then they will expire. So you can see now we've placed the falter, we let the opponent attack in, and each of those is giving us a fury. Sorry, it's furies that we stack up with this node. Now, on the beta, Ghost actually got a fury even from phasing attacks. Unfortunately, it isn't working that way here, but you can see you can still build up a lot of furies and get some very nice damage with this node. You do have to be very cautious, however, with multiple buffs expiring at various times that you do not get faltered yourself, because if you do not heavy attack and knock the opponent down in time, you'll have the falter placed on yourself and will not be able to attack, so you want to make sure you time it right or play it safe and back off and wait out that falter. And then with Ghost, you can build up some of these permanent furies and then heavy uh, chain heavies in the corner as much as you can, throw off a special two and get some very nice damage. And then as you get further into the fight, you you start to build up more and more furies and get that damage up higher and higher you can see we got tons of furies off of that combo there and then i countered with a heavy attack and was able to continue chaining on heavies in the corner until i got to two bars of power and this first hit of that special two did 68 thousand damage so a lot overkill on that one there this next fight we brought in dr doom just to showcase various champions dr doom is of course a villain and there are a lot of very strong villains in the game that most players probably have ranked up the one thing to take note of is if you do stack lots of nullifies and continue to stack nullifies you will prevent the opponent from getting buffs and therefore you will not be able to obtain that falter so you want to make sure that you don't heavy attack too frequently as you can see here i applied another stagger before the buff are going to trigger on Cyclops so then they just do not trigger and I do not gain the falter so ideally you want to avoid applying heavy attacks except for shortly after the buffs are activated on the opponent so at this point we only have eight furies we go to throw off a special two and it deals some pretty good damage and those incinerates are doing almost two and a half thousand every half second each so that's Almost, that's almost 7,500 damage every half second. So Dr. Doom does very well with this node, especially because if you are unable to knock him down um, or even after you knock him down, you can also nullify the buff so you don't have to worry about the heals. But I found that Dr. Doom was a fantastic option for this fight, especially with the easy access to knocking him down when you chain on a heavy with the shock debuff on him. Now, just for some lovely numbers here to see some fancy show off with Ghost on this lane, uh, we get him into the corner doing a heavy spam and then once he's no longer uh in uh, indestructible we throw off that special two and get some big numbers and similarly with this fight as well you just knock him down when you can after buffs get up a bunch of those furies and it makes this fights go very easily and finished off that uh, ultron without too much trouble even though i started off with lower health and this last fight with Dr. Doom, we're not going to watch the whole thing, but we're going to look at the more important parts of the fight where we knock him down, give him the falter, and you want to take as many hits to that while, they're, while they are faltered. So if you're used to playing Ghost, then you'll do pretty well with this because it's kind of like phasing. It's just a little bit different with the timing and what you're watching for. But every time a buff expires, you get that gray timer, and then you want to knock him down as soon as you can during that time so you do not get faltered. Now, the boss that I chose, I think it, the easiest one is Platinum pool this void doesn't look too bad either you'll want to use a champion that can apply debuffs easily you have to get him over six and then knock him down and he'll take extra damage on that if you knock him down before you've applied six debuffs then you will take damage you can also do dragon man with stunning reflection but because he's immune to poison you'll want to use a champion that is uh, easy access to incinerates like human torch without the pre-fight uh, and because of the empowered immunity you do not want to give him buffs that he's immune to because he already has power gains so that will make this hard and now 
Platinum Pool is a fairly straightforward fight. The nodes on him makes him immune to debuffs, and you have to stack a certain number of charges from him purifying or being immune to these debuffs. Every time he purifies one or is immune to it, he gets a charge, and you have to get him over 10 charges within a 30 second period, which is not too difficult to do, even if you're just doing with parries, but having a champion that applies lots of debuffs will make this fight a lot easier. So Sunspot is a viable option for this fight, more so if he is uh, awakened because you can get more of those charges, but you can see here every time we attack into him He's not getting an incinerate, but he is getting one of those purple charges and we have that timer going around That is a 30 second timer and once it ends you'll see that he starts to degenerate So we're playing sunspot as we typically would and we're playing against platinum pool as we typically would It's nothing really too special about this fight as long as you can stack debuffs and get him over 10 within a 30 second period now I did mess up a little bit there, but you can see now that that expired, he is starting to degenerate. And this makes the fight a little bit quicker, helps do a lot of damage throughout the fight, but it is on a 30 second timer. Unfortunately, it would be nicer if it was a limit like once you reach 15 or 20 debuffs charges, then he'll start to degenerate and reset so you can access it quicker with champions that have quicker access to debuffs. Unfortunately, with Sunspot now, we have ran out of uh, those charges because we can't reabsorb the incinerate. So we have to build back up to a special three and hopefully manage them a little bit better One of the other nodes in this fight is juke So if you alternate ending your combos with a light and a medium attack, you'll continue to stack up those furies You can see we now have seven and one of the annoying things with platinum pool is when he gets that doom like aura That makes him unstoppable at the end of your special attacks um, But what can you do? So now we throw off a special two and get some pretty good damage now I also tested out Captain America infinity war because with certain synergies he will apply debuffs on the parry so he has easy access to tons of debuffs however i noticed that a lot of times it wasn't working and he wouldn't get the charges from the failed debuffs or the debuffs would just go through even though he's supposed to shrug everything off so this wasn't really working as i was hoping even with the special one the bleeds go through because of the ability accuracy reduction on uh, captain america's level one so he wasn't really working that well for this node Dr. Doom is a good option as well if you like to play him and have him. He is able to get easily over 10 debuffs in 30 seconds because of the medium attack shock and the parries that you can weave in as well. And you can stack multiple. If you're good at reparrying, you can parry multiple hits in a row to stack multiple of these charges with one combo that he throws into your block. Now, if you want to just work around this completely, you can use a heal block champion like Warlock that passively heal blocks. You have to have a passive heal block however because if it is a debuff then he will shrug it off from the nodes so that is something to consider but overall i felt like this fight was fairly simple there's plenty of champions that you can use against him and if you just play with the node and apply debuffs uh, the degeneration will help you out significantly so i hope this video is helpful in the comments let me know who you use for these paths or this fight and i hope to see you in the next video